Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we've got this DCF 813 10.8 volt 38 impact wrench. I'm going to show you what's wrong with it. It's going, but there's no power. You just can't do it. With the view of increasing the power, I've come up with a plan that may or may not work. This little battery has three cells. That's all it has. Three cells. Three 2000 milliamp 18650s. So, what I'm going to attempt to do is upgrade the cells to these 21730Ts. And I'm wondering if the board can handle it to put six of these in to make a 10.8 or 12 volt 6 amp battery so this is our starting point six of these 21 700 cells and they're all showing around three and a half volts near enough so that's ideal we've got to join them together in twos so we've got to join them together uh, to make them 12 volt right here we have our fully assembled 6 amp or 12 volt pack and we'll see ten point four three volts the next step is to take these cells off as we board and put the board on here that's the board off now right we'll just set that on something like that and that'll eventually go out over it, you know, this sort of setup. So here we are, all connected up. It's reading 10.44, so that's very good. With this assembled, you can see the difference between what we started with and what we have now. So we see this, this fits quite well, That's I'd be quite happy with that, however we need a casing for this, and I'm going to repurpose this old 6 ampere flex volt casing. Fitting pretty good, you just have to get it so the top goes on it. I can use the original sides. And I've got this far, I've got the top on it, and it'll sit like that. But I need to get some filler in around it to support the battery pack. Right, there's been some progress. I've used the bit that I cut off the top along with the outer cable cover for a bit of shock absorption. That seems to do the job quite well. So I've got the anti-shock device in the bottom, the glued on the top. So that's this battery fully together. A little bit of correction to do before we go more any further. And the same on the lower side. So here we go, the moment of truth. Will this thing actually charge after all that? Yeah, it's charging. And we have a fully charged 12 volt, 6 ampere, or 10.8, it's the same thing. This new upgraded supercharged battery is shown 12.29 volts when fully charged. That's exactly what we want. There is quite a dramatic size difference between these two, but yeah, I'm pleased. What we have here is a brand new battery platform. It's not an XR, it's not a FlexVolt, it's a DRLHD, Dr. Left Hand Thread. It doesn't look half as bad on the tool as I thought it would. It's fairly centred there, it's not bad. It's 
wee bit off centre this way, but you know, you can't do everything. Scan the 3 8 impact wrench, sync this screw with the new battery. It did it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos.